I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel Hey guys and welcome to my channel If you're new, subscribe, returning, hello Um, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a new video But I'm trying, I promise you guys I'm trying to be more consistent with my videos it's just been a busy summer. I've been trying to make my coins, make my money. This video is going to be, obviously by the title, it is going to be like the real tea on HBCU life or college life. Um, these really, I'm just going to give five tips because I've done these videos in the past. If you want to like learn more information on HBCU, HBCU life and PWI life, um, I'll have that link down in the description bar. But I'm just going to give you like five important tips to add to your freshman or sophomore or if you're transferring to a HBCU survival guide for your college experience. And also, there is going to be a mini, 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 mini emphasis on mini <clears throat> giveaway at the end of the video. So stick around to learn how to enter the giveaway. It's really not that hard. Or just fast forward. So disclaimer for this video, I know some of y'all in the comments be like, what's wrong with your background? Why is your background wrinkled? This is as good as it gets. <laughs> this flower board keeps on falling, so if you see it fall a couple times in the video, I just promise you guys, I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? So number one, the first tip I have for you guys, like your freshmen or sophomores, whatever, or transfers, whatever you expect coming into college, like, forget it. How I envisioned my freshman year of college going did not go as planned. Um, you're entering a new environment, so you really don't, environment that you've never been to before. So you really don't know what to expect. For me, I came into Hampton, I totally forgot to introduce myself. I am a third year cybersecurity major from Columbus, Ohio. But um, I came into Hampton expecting to become like a famous youtuber and make a lot of money off of that so i'd never have to work again but that's not gonna <laughs> that is totally not what i'm doing right now um i'm on a completely different path than what i expected coming into hampton and i know that counts sad about my youtube dream but it is what it is don't expect bad things to happen because everybody is coming in new everybody is coming in especially if you go to an hbcu a lot of people travel just across the country just to go to that school like me i was a introverted person i'm very shy especially my freshman year of college i was very shy i didn't know anybody i was just like i'm gonna be a loner because i don't have any friends that is me now just be open to meeting new people and just being just know like being shy is not shy person to talk to and it's gonna be like you guys are gonna be friends so that is my first tip the second tip I have for you guys is sometimes you have to go low to go high and that means like you might reach your lowest point during your freshman year this year was my sophomore year and I feel like I reached my lowest point um, you might feel depressed you might feel homesick just know that you're at that reason for a point like use that as a time to figure out what you want to do if you're homesick maybe you want to transfer if you're not feeling that you're not doing anything on campus go find something to do like <clears throat> join class when you're like and this is totally from my point of view but i feel like you should definitely use this time or that time at when you're at your lowest or whatever just like talk to some people and figure out my third tip or whatever is from Cardi B's do anything for clout being at an HBCU and I feel like it's on a lot of HBCUs because I really don't hear anything like this from like PWIs or maybe I don't know I only know a couple of people that have PWIs but I feel like my HBCU experience is a lot about clout this is from what I see this is from my personal experience it's just I just um people feed into Clout is basically popularity, and I feel like sometimes your HBCU can turn into a high school. That's only if you allow it. An HBCU is definitely what you make it, and if you're gonna like feed into that clout culture, like go ahead. It's totally up to you. But if you're not like that, like me, I just like laying low, going to class, doing what I gotta do to pass the test. I've definitely seen some people like that clout go to your head, and you wanna turn into like this big guy or big girl on campus, like. 
people need to realize like yeah that's cool like while you're at hbcu or like while you're in college maybe you go to like a smaller pwi this might be the case but like once you graduate like you're gonna get that postgraduate depression because like your career and like your life your really true adult life is not gonna be like that it might help you with connections but it's not gonna it's not gonna be it's not gonna slide um i say this in like all of my college advice videos and that would be to save your coins save your money i um came into college with a lot of money in my account and then two months later i was broke because i wasn't realizing how much i was spending and like budgeting for me it might be for you might not takes a long time and i mean a long time to get right because i'm still i'm still struggling to get my hands are really big <laughs> to get what i need to do but um to get my money right but don't be out here buying getting these credit cards i already messed up with that i got two that i gotta pay off and it's ridiculous like credit card companies feed off of college students because you know like you have to build credit when you're in college blah 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 i'm not going to get into that but don't get one it's a scam um eat out the calf i know it's disgusting especially with hbcu your calf is probably hampton probably has the one of the worst cafeterias out of all hbcus i'm just gonna say that um pwis college might be a little better y'all have a lot more money going into your food programs but um definitely save up your money you know if you want to get fancy sometimes get a pizza and like divide it with some people that live in your dorm and you know save up i know my school does like pirate bucks like that's the school hampton gives you you're really paying for that you're, you're paying for that hampton gives you to go out into like the stew or the student center or like shops near Hampton, not shops near Hampton, but y'all know what I mean. For money, like for food, which is like $75 an hour. <sighs> oh my gosh. Just save, just save your coins because you'll definitely need it. Also like feeding into saving your coin, find something you're good at and do it. If you're at an HBCU, someone is always gonna need your hair done, their hair done or their lashes done or their nails done. like. That's definitely a good skill to pick up before you come to Hampton, and I mean not Hampton, the HBCU, or like um, any college really. So if you're good at that, you're going to make some money. If you're good at that and you need some money, I would definitely advise you doing that because I know a lot of people who do that and they make money. For me, I'm just now starting my like side hustle and I made like another video about that. It's just like, it should be like... The most recent one and tip number five is um everybody really isn't meant to be your friend which means like you're not going to get along with everybody like and that's okay college is a place to grow and find your true self and like you don't have to like be buddy buddy with everybody like that you meet because that's i feel like that's a way that you limit yourself with me like um i find that one person i was like okay all right we here but it's a really especially for my introverted people that are watching this video it's really good to you know get out and practice having good social skills because i'm getting better every day okay so here's the giveaway part some of y'all probably skipped to but if you watch the video thank you this is a mini 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 back to school giveaway um had a little extra money because i'm budgeting so i decided to go to tj maxx and i saw this really pretty you guys can't see it it says notes especially it's like a big notebook and then you your whoever wins is going to get this 2019 2020 planner um i have some highlighters and a pen for you but i don't know where it's at right now but i'll find it in time and then you'll be getting this little this little candle um the reason why I got these items is because planning and time management is very important if you're in school. Definitely, it's really important if you're doing a lot of extracurriculars and clubs and organizations in college. So definitely keep the planner. And I just like candles. Candles really calm you and like set the mood so you can write in your notebook. 
with your pen and highlighters, but I don't have those right now. Um, so to enter, all you have to do, bruh, all you have to do is, so here's how to enter. You need to comment down below what you're looking for to in college or high school. I know this video might not apply to high schoolers, but you guys are probably looking into like HBCUs or PWI, so you definitely can enter. Um, yeah, what you're looking for most about college. I think that's what I said. And um, put your Instagram or Twitter handle, and I'll put mine down below. Follow me, don't follow me. It's not really part of the challenge, but I mean, not part of the giveaway, but you definitely can follow me on one of my Instagram handles below or above somewhere and also you have to be subscribed so those three and the instructions will be down in the description box I probably just I totally forgot what I just said but if you guys like this video subscribe if you don't oh well um but be sure to tune in for my next video